Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, welcome. My name is Ella and I make videos about witchcraft, wicca and paganism. So for today's video, I am finally doing an altar tour. Um, of course, this is a little bit of a temporary altar. Um, and yes, I say altar, not altar. Um, <laughs> I'm half German. So um, yes, it is going to be this altar right here and um, I will be showing you all of my tools as well as speaking a little bit about every single thing on my altar and yeah really excited now um, another quick note before we get started let me quickly mention this video's sponsor which is my fiance and I's shop silver fern crystals for beautiful high quality crystals visit our shop at ekstones.com with new crystals coming in every month supporting our small business means I'm able to continue making more videos like this so um, a couple of things first uh, first of all what is an altar? An altar is some sort of sacred space, usually dedicated sacred space, for you as a practitioner to conduct your workings at. Now, your workings can include meditation, journaling, spell work, ritual work, deity worship, ancestor um, veneration, spirit work, you name it, right? Um, it can be honestly any location that you like it to be. Uh, you can have it completely different depending on your path. So for example, if you work primarily in the kitchen, the kitchen space might be your altar. Um, or if you work more ceremonial magic, your, your altar might look really different. Um, chaos magic, folk magic, you name it. They're all gonna have a little bit of a different look. Some traditions, like Gatnerian Wicca for example, will have certain tools and certain um, how things are usually set up. Uh, even that is relatively fluent, <laughs> depending on person. And yeah, so an altar is kind of sacred. Um, at least I always really consider it sacred. So for example, I would never put a pizza box or like old tissues or anything like that on my altar unless I would be using it for spells, but yeah. Um, <laughs> so obviously, you know, it's completely up to you. You can have an altar that is huge and big, a temple. Um, you can even have, you know, an entire room or even a little cottage, for example, dedicated to be your altar uh, or your altar space at least. Or you can have an altar in like a little, little box or like a jar, for example. So an altar can have hundreds of different looks and it will depend from person to person. Now, another thing I want to mention is, do you have to have an altar? Um, I think it's completely depending on you. If you would like an altar, go ahead. If that's not your thing, don't worry about it. Um, traditionally speaking, many people will like to have an altar simply because it allows them to have a dedicated space to really sit down and focus and work from. It's kind of similar to how you might have an office desk or a dedicated area where you have, you know, where you do your schoolwork and things like that. Um, so it's just kind of a dedicated space where you can get into the right mindset and I think I personally like to have an altar for that reason. However, that doesn't mean you only have to have that one sacred space. Your sacred space, for example, could just be your bedroom in general or like a little sacred altar space, for example, in your bathroom uh, with rose quartz and seashells and things like that. Or, you know, a money altar. You can have like a lot of different altars for different things as well. Um, however, I have this as my main altar and my only real altar where I do workings at. Um, I do have a little beauty altar, glamour altar in the bathroom. One final note about altars, you will see a lot of trinkets on my altar. Now, I know a lot of people are very uncomfortable with spending a lot of money in witchcraft and I agree. Um, so, with that being said, Altars have kind of made the rounds on Instagram, TikTok, you know, social media, you name it, uh, in that people see really big elaborate altars and they think they are, theirs isn't nice enough or it has to have a certain look to it or it has to have a certain size and like vastness to it or you can only be a real witch if you've got all these tools and that's absolutely not correct. Um, you are a witch regardless of how many tools you own. So just let that be known. Um, I, for one, have collected my altar tools since I'm 11 and I'm turning 24 now. So quite a while already, uh, cause I started with 
Wicca when I was 11 um, and I grew up in a very witchy family so a lot of the tools were gifted to me by my family members and I continue to, continue to collect and grow the things on my altar um, so if you are starting out do not think you need to go out and just spend like a thousand dollars on all of these altar things or that you need to have like a certain tool set or anything like that that's absolutely not the case and you can have it as minimalistic as you want or as opulent as you want uh, it does not account for you being more witchy or less witchy than someone else. So um, just so that you guys are aware, um, I know it could also potentially seem like I'm showing off my altar for, you know, vain sort of reasons. Um, I actually kind of was thinking, should I really show my altar or not? Because I know a lot of people like to keep their altar more personal and hidden and a lot of people don't feel comfortable with sharing their altar on social media in general. I think that's up to you once again. I wouldn't show a working altar, so an altar where I currently have stuff going on for, for spirits or for spells and things like that, but I don't mind showing it when it is cleansed, clean and not active like it is right now. But yeah, you know, you don't have to see this necessarily as some sort of like showing off and comparison but more so just possibly inspiration and maybe you're just having you know like a nice coffee and you know your breakfast or lunch or something like that and you know having a nice chill time <laughs> So, um, all of these disclaimers out of the way, uh, let's get into my altar. First things first, the table. The table is just literally one that the people that we are living here at the moment, so our landlords, they had that here. <laughs> so I asked them if I could use it and they were like, yeah, sure. So that's why I'm using this one. First thing I'm going to grab is going to be one of my oldest tools, this Athame. So an athame is a ritualistic knife um, or dagger, not knife, dagger that you use in rituals, in ceremonial sort of rituals. Usually it also represents the masculine, um, though again it's up to you. That's how I see it, that's how traditionally it is seen. And I got this athame when I was 13, I think, 13 or 14. Um, I begged my mom. <laughs> to have one and I remember showing her um, all these books and stuff like that and because the internet didn't really have like a lot of stuff about witchcraft and wicca yet um, so I showed her all these books and I was like look it's ritualistic you're not gonna you know I'm not gonna like stab <laughs> or cut or anything like that anything with it it's just supposed to be representative and symbolic um, and be used in ritual and she bought me one so thank you mum <laughs> And um, so it's just kind of been my alt my theme for the longest time. And yeah, and then my other tool sitting right next to it is my wand. Now I have a couple of wands. This one is ro what is it? Rosewood? Rosewood with quartz, peridot, and quartz again, and some silver wiring going throughout it. I need to polish it to be honest, it's looking a little a little nasty. Um, I have a couple of ones. This one I got three years ago, I believe, or two years ago at the Munich Show Expo in, in Munich. But I have a Harry Potter one from the Warner Bros. Studios. Um, and I have a one that I've made myself. I've gone through two or three that I've made myself. And yeah, so that's the one I currently like to use the most, which is on my altar at the moment. I have this wooden planchette. Um, this wooden planchette is made by Pandora Witch Shop. They are absolutely incredible. I have a couple of their things and I'm like, I love their stuff. And it is handmade and it is the Wheel of the Year. And it is the Southern Hemisphere version of the Wheel of the Year. So I'm probably gonna get a Northern Hemisphere version once we move and I might do like a giveaway or something like that for this one here. And it kind of just stands there. I like to turn it depending on like what the, what the Sabbath is of that season and I just like the representation of it reminding me you know to honor the wheel of the year to honor the pagan like cycle and everything like that so that's something that's very personal to me once again because not everyone uh, celebrates these Sabbaths so yeah now the next thing let's have a look let's do the cold not the cauldron the chalice so this chalice I <laughs> It's probably one of my favorite things. This chalice was gifted to me by my Oma, my grandma, um, and I believe I got it when I was 13. Um, 
I think 13. So my grandmother collects whatever material this is. I'm not sure if it's brass. I think it's brass. Um, so she collects a couple of different things in this material. And this chalice, I remember standing in her cabinet of like things. And I remember being like, oh, I love this one. I love this one so much for like a year or something like that. Or maybe even longer, I'm not, I don't remember entirely. And so she said that I could have it when I turn 13. I think it was when I turned 13 or something along those lines. So that's one of my favorite tools just because, you know, my grandmother um, gave it to me and it has, holds a special place in my heart. The chalice also usually traditionally represents the female or um, feminine on the altar. Um, kind of in contrast to the Athame. So at least at least on a Wiccan altar um, So again, that is you know specific to a traditional Wiccan altar and my altar is quite heavy heavy Wiccan uh, So just let that be known. Let's go back to the masculine. So I have this beautiful Wodan statue um, or Odin, but I call him Wodan and he has um, been handmade by um, Blago Wood on Instagram, on Etsy. So I will also be linking everything below that is linkable, that is, you know, not from like a thrift store or anything like that. Um, this one is absolutely stunning. Um, so he is the deity that I like to work with um, and he stands on my altar, of course. This one I only recently purchased. I purchased this myself last year. I think it was last year. I added him to my collection and I kind of surround his area with things that I think he would appreciate. So I have a couple of, you know, tokens and things like that near him um, that I that I collect or, you know, find and I'm like, oh, let me put that next to my Wodan statue. Going to the feminine. Now I kind of actually want to get a statue from the same company for the feminine um, goddess, female, female, feminine goddess. So currently I have this one and my mother gave this to me for my birthday last year. It is a Hecate, uh, Hecate, um, Hecate uh, statue and I do really like it. However, I don't necessarily work with the Greek pantheon at all. So I kind of see her at the moment more as like a triple goddess. However, I kind of want one that is more specific to the goddess that I work with, but it's really tricky to get her. Um, I also don't feel quite comfortable sharing her name just because I just recently kind of connected with that goddess. Um, so yeah, but this statue is from Amazon. I can probably find it and link it. It is quite hefty, so it is, you know, really nicely made. Um, yeah, so it's it's really beautiful. Unfortunately, her key broke on our trip here to New Zealand. So I do still have it. I want to glue it back on. <laughs> um, but yeah, so she kind of has, you know, her little section on my altar. And I have a couple of items next to her that I think she would like. So once again, things I found in like nature or anything like that, that I'm like, hmm, I think she would like this. And then... Um, let's have a look. I also currently have sitting on there my new bullet journal. So I just got this sent to um, by Notebook Therapy and I have a giveaway currently going on um, that I will link in my description box. It's on Instagram. So if you are like looking for a really beautiful one, then have a look. Um, so I just started this one and yeah, so I just started it and I really like bullet journaling. It's just something that I really um, kind of feel is very nice and creative. So that's currently sitting on my altar. Um, and then I have this big shelf. This big shelf was also by Pandora Witch Shop and they were so sweet and they gifted it to me as well as um, they also gifted me that's already a while ago, so a few months ago now. They also gifted me this huge grimoire um, that I picked out as well. They let me pick out a couple of things, so <laughs> that's what I picked out. Um, but yeah, this shelf, I always get questions for this specific shelf. Where is it from? It's from Pandora Witch Shop. I will link it below. And yeah, I just have a couple of things in there. Once again, crystals, 
bones, um, my herbs or herbs, um, oils and things like that that I need. I also have a couple of shelves. As you can see, I have two shelves. So one has candles in it and the other ones has little trinkets and charm bags in it that I have made. So yeah, then I have, let's see. Then I have this bell. This one is a great alternative to if you don't want to use incense or burn anything um, to cleanse your altar, your space, yourself, your tools. Um, and that one is from Goddess Provisions. I will <laughs> again link it. And yeah, so that was one of their subscription box items a few months ago, I believe. And I really like it. As you can see, I kind of have a bit of a color scheme. Um, my color that I really like resonate with is gold. So I try to kind of go for those warm tones. Then I have this teeny tiny little cauldron. And I have another one that is the exact same but larger. This one I bought from a Latvian flea market. It was three euros. <laughs> So I got like, I was, you know, so excited to have this one and I have a larger one that I also got from a Latvian thrift store and that I think was five euros. So these were super cheap. Um, and then I have a little spoon in there, but I don't remember where the spoon is from. I think it was gifted, but I don't remember where it's from. But I like to burn herbs in here or turn my bundle off. Like I just kind of put it in there and then it like goes off by itself. Um, and then I have this cute little broom. This little cute broom is from a German dollar store. I think it's Teddy. I think it was Teddy. Um, if you know, if you are in Germany, for example, you might know it. So they were in like a little pack of threes, I think. You can probably get them on like Amazon or whatever, thrift stores and dollar stores and stuff as well. And I don't have a besom on my altar, so, or like around my altar. So this is kind of the representation for it. Um, so yes, that's my little broom. And then I just have a bunch of candles, trinkets, crystals, as I mentioned. Um, I have this beautiful... I have this beautiful incense holder, which is a protective hand. I think it's a Hamza hand. Um, and it has some celestial sort of symbols on it. It's from Goddess Provisions. So that was, again, in one of their recent boxes. So I like to burn my incense on here. Um, and yeah, and then I have a bunch of things underneath. Underneath I have, you know, extra oils, my fire, my lighter. Um, I also have shelving down there where I have my tarot cards, um, and a bunch of other things that I've discovered and found. One I have down here, and you might have seen this in previous videos, is this pentagram, or pentacle, sorry. And this one was from a Ren fair, like a Renaissance fair in Germany. Gosh, I think I must have been 12 or 13 or something like that. So I was quite young when I got this. My mom bought it for me and we went there together, all of us. And we had bread on the stick, it was fabulous. And I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, I really would love that. And so my mom bought it, or my, my dad, my papa, um, he bought it, they bought it. So I still have this and I absolutely love it. So I get a lot of questions about this one. So I don't know, unfortunately, what the shop was or anything like that, but it's from Ren Faire, from years ago, <laughs> like 10 years ago. Um, and then I have a couple of posters hanging around my altar. I like to have them around um, my altar. So I have some uh, butterfly altar, um, pictures and a poster with mushrooms. And then, a, um, and then a bigger poster. I will link the artist below. She's amazing. She does really, really beautiful stuff. But the posters of the butterflies and the mushrooms are from Etsy. I can try and find them and link them. Um, but yeah, I just kind of really like them. <laughs> and then I have my monster plant, which is not doing super well at the moment because of like temperature changes here and stuff and whatnot. And yeah, so then I just have, you know, my, my protection candle over here. Um, and I have this altar cloth, which is also from Goddess Provisions. So that was also in one of their boxes that they sent. And I believe that is it. Oh, and then I have, if you see that school, that one is actually a resin school. So it's not a real school. Um, but I do have two 
three bones, three bones on my altar. And they were the one little bone here I found myself on a beach. So my camera did just die. So I hope the angle is not completely off. Um, but yeah, so as I was saying, I have a couple of bones on my altar. This one, for example, I found at a beach. Um, I don't know if it will focus. If not, I will have a um, close up of it. Then I have this jawbone. Um, and this one was um, bought. I bought this one from a nearby small shop. I will link her below as well. Um, her name is Priscilla. She's really sweet. And she found this on one of her hikes. Now the thing is with this one, <laughs> the teeth are kind of falling out. I don't know if you can tell, but they're really wobbly. So I have to maybe glue them in there um, or just take the teeth out. <laughs> And this is my final piece of bone on my altar. And this one is also from Priscilla, also from her shop, uh, also found on one of her nature walks. So um, yeah, those are the bones I have on my altar. Now I do have a few more. I have a drawer over here. And that is where I keep more oracle decks, tarot cards, small jars, um, altar cloths, um, any kind of stuff that doesn't fit on the altar or doesn't have a place on the altar. Yeah, so that's my altar. Um, I am going to do another altar video as soon as we have moved. We are in the process of moving back to Europe, back to Latvia. Um, and I will have my big altar if you know me and my videos for a while on my Instagram. I have had pictures of my big altar. Um, and so I'm going to do a video, maybe even a series, like a vlog style series of me showing you guys um, how I'm going to set up the altar. And yeah, so that's basically it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave it a like, um, subscribe and the notification bell. And yeah, with that being said, I hope you're all having a great time, a great um, start into November or whenever you're watching this, of course. And yeah, stay safe, blessed be, bye.